Sometimes you want to have a combination of um, horizontal and vertical forms on your page. So in this video, I'm going to show how to change the, the page content and the custom CSS styles I've given to um, create these horizontal forms so that you can selectively have some be horizontal and some be vertical on the page. So first I'm going to go into my custom styles. Um, I'll include the modified CSS under the, in, in the description for this video, but basically what I'm going to go through and modify each of these three rules and add dot horizontal space um, before uh, each one of these rules so that they only, re, uh, only apply when an HTML element um, has the class horizontal um, to, to apply these rules. So dot horizontal and then a space. Dot horizontal and a space. Dot horizontal and a space. So as I apply these, um, these have not been marked to be horizontal forms yet. So as I apply this change, we'll lose the horizontal reformatting and they'll flip back to vertical. So as you can see, these three are now back to vertical forms. So now I'm gonna leave this top one as a vertical and I'm gonna modify these uh, two bottom forms to go back to being horizontal by saying that I want them, those specifically, to be horizontal. Now there are two ways to do this. You can use the, the edit source code option for the section. Um, so here's, here's the form, here's the, the div where I'm gonna add the horizontal uh, cl class modifier. Um, there's a class in here too, s somewhere, oh there it is. Um, but it can be kind of hard to find. Uh, I find it easier just to apply it to an adjacent div where the, the class uh, settings are very uh, easy to spot. Um, if you have a bunch of elements in your section, and in this case of this demo page, I just have one form in each of the sections, so it's pretty easy to find the form. Um, but it can, if you've got a lot of stuff in your section, it can be hard to find. So um, Another way that I prefer is just to uh, right click on the form, click inspect, and then um, that will bring up the, the browser's content inspector. And you can see if I hover over the form, um, when I hover this uh, form, the matching form gets a light blue uh, filter over it so I can easily confirm I've got the right form. So I'm gonna go to the div that's around it um, if you go to the, the class attribute for that div, if you hover over the value and you right click and you say edit attribute, it's going to select that text and let you edit the, the class attribute value. So just somewhere in here at the beginning to middle, it really doesn't matter. Just add as a separate word, the word horizontal, and then, uh, and make sure there's a space surrounding it. You want it to be a separate word. Don't let it run into the surrounding values. So now I can either click outside of this um, or press the enter key and it will add that horizontal class to this div, which will make my CSS once again apply to that particular form. So as I click out here, you'll see that's gonna flip and go back to being a horizontal form. So now I've got one vertical and one horizontal. Let's change this one also back to horizontal. So I'm gonna right click, choose inspect, and uh, hovering over this form confirms that that's the form that I wanna edit. So I'm going to go to this adjacent div. I'm gonna right click on the class value, say edit attribute, and I'm gonna add the word horizontal. And then if I press enter, you can see that this form has also flipped back to being horizontal. So that's how you make uh, specific forms be horizontal while others are vertical.